Hi y'all, today I'm going to be sharing an updated what's in my bag video and at the end of the video I'm going to just do a little review over the bag because it is literally the perfect black satchel that I have been looking for so I just wanted to share it in case anyone else is out in the market looking for a bag like this. So I'll go ahead and just get started with what's in my bag right now or in my purse. So the purse that I use quite often, I switch between this one and a bigger work bag. Um, this is the Henry Bendel Carlisle Satchel. And as you can see, it's, um, it's a pretty good sized bag. It's kind of like a more of a medium size and it has a removable strap. So I'll just go more into the specifics a little bit later. But that's what it looks like. And I don't usually carry my planner in my bag on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually I'll carry it like on a Monday or a Friday, bringing it to my office, and then I take it home afterwards. So it just depends on the day. But since it's the weekend, it's in there. I just wanted to show y'all that it also does fit. I had to um, unlatch the hooks here to kind of, you know, open it up a little bit more in order for the planner to fit in here. But anywho, I babble sometimes because I'm still not used to doing videos. So hopefully y'all will just bear with me. Okay, so the planner that I have been using, ooh, making the video look weird. The planner that I've been using for 2014 to 2015 is the Whitney English Day Designer Planner. Um, I have been using the Erin Condren Life Planner. I've used that for the past, last year, and I really liked it. The only thing that I didn't love about the Erin Condren plan, Life Planner was that it's extremely colorful. Um, I'm really a person who, I don't love a ton of color. I like more like white and gray or white and black, just kind of more nat neutral colors. Um, as I say it, I have this pink thing on my arm, but um, for the most part, I enjoy just having neutral colors. Um, and that's why I kind of want, wanted to go with the Day Designer by Whitney English. I can probably do another video talking more about it, but this is basically what it looks like. It's striped, which I'm obsessed with stripes, so that was perfect for me. Um, as you can see, I have these little tabs on the top. The gray one is for the, to show the month that I'm on. And then the pink one shows me the day and it's still stuck on Friday. So, um, that's why I also like about this planner is that it's separated by a month view and then it has a page for each day. And then on the weekends it has Saturday and Sunday on the same page. But I like that a lot more. Um, I like to, and it has like little to-do lists like on one side and then on the other side's the schedule. So anyways, um, that's what, that's the planner that I've been using. Okay. And then I have my phone. Um, it's humongous, I know. It's the Galaxy Note 3. And I do like, like it. I mean, I like being able to look at, you know, videos or blogs or Pinterest or whatever and blow it up on the screen and make it really big. Um, except it's hard to take pictures because it's so big, you know, like you try doing a selfie and you're kind of like, oh, like, it gets kind of crazy. <laughs> so anyways, I say that I like neutral colors, but then I pull out a couple of pink things. Anyways, for the most part, I like neutral colors. Um, my wallet is this Kate Spade wallet. I think it's called the Stacy wallet. Um, the reason why I like it, you can see here, it's just got a zipper on the back of it where you can put coins. I don't usually have coins in here. If I do, I take it out and put it in a little piggy bank. Um, but what I like about it is because it has a snap enclosure. So that's what I like about it. Here I, I let, hold my random receipt. It just has, you know, credit card pockets. And then here's where my ID is and then cash areas. So, and then I have these keys in my bag. This is my car key and then like my house key, um, gate key, stuff like that. And then this one is a rental that we have. Um, Mike's car is in the shop right now, so we have this rental and it's like, it's a Volvo S S60, something like that. I like it, it's kind of nice, but anyway, so I have it because I've been using that car too. Oh, I'm looking in the front pockets here. Oh, you can't see them right here. So I grabbed stuff from here. Now I'm looking in the small itty bitty pocket. I have my Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm, which I have been using for years now. And then I have these two spoolies, these mascara spoolies. And the lady who did my lash extensions for my wedding 
gave them to me so that I could constantly like brush them out, you know, so they look all fluffy and nice. Um, and now I don't have them on anymore, so now they've just been sitting in here. But I'm sure I can put it to good use somewhere. Okay. Then I have in this zippered pocket in here. Looks like I have some receipts and a check of, from a, a, a wedding gift that we had, so I probably still need to go deposit that. Um, I have like a bunch of bobby pins and some safety pins because you just never know when you're going to need it. in that pouch okay and then I have this like random little cleaning cloth that I tend to not use a lot I have it in there usually Mike uses it more than I do so this is my absolute favorite hand lotion I think Johnson & Johnson actually stopped making it it's the melt away stress um, lotion um, I don't know that it relieves stress all that much but it smells really good it makes my hands really soft um, and I don't know what I'm going to do once I run out because I like cleared out a shelf uh, once at a, like a dollar store kind of thing. Cleaned it out and so now I'm like really stingy about people using my hand lotion. So I used to have it on my desk at work. Now I keep it in my purse so that people can't just go up and use it because it's a limited quantity right now. So well, this is my absolute favorite hand lotion. And then I have hand sanitizer. This is a smaller bottle, but I take the train to work, so I'm like, it just grosses me out, but you know, whatever, um, saves me gas and stuff like that and parking. So anyways, I always carry um, sanitizer with me in any of my purses. I also have little to-go Kleenexes, because you never know when you need to blow your nose. I have some hair ties and a clippy because I like to put my hair back a lot. I have some more of these like little cloth kind of hair ties. This one just another elastic hair tie. Oh, and then this one's my favorite hair tie. Ooh, there's a lot of crap on it. Um, it's like almost one of those really thin elastic bands like the clear bands or like the dark colored bands but it's like a bigger size and I think it's by Skun Skunchy, Skun Skunchy I believe. Um, I'm still trying to find where I can buy more of these because I'm literally obsessed with them so but they're my favorite. They hold my hair, my hair doesn't move, it's just it's amazing. And then I you can probably hear that what you're hearing is a bunch of candy not candies, but like mints, so I have braces so I can't um, chew gum, and I want my breath to, to smell fresh, <laughs> so I have these Altoid Smalls, the wintergreen flavor, and as you can see, I have two packages, this one's not open, this this one here is open, so um, these are my favorite, and I also like they use sucralose in, instead of aspartame, um, so that's why I like these ones the most. Then I have like a, oh it's probably old because it kind of has debris on it, but this is just a lifesaver wintergreen mint. I have like a huge bag in my pantry of them. This candy here, oh I love this candy. I buy it on Amazon because I can't find it in any stores near me in Dallas. This is a Jap Japanese milk candy. I think I posted it on my Instagram before, but a girl that I worked with gave me some of these back in the day and I became obsessed with them. They are my most favorite, one of my most favorite candies ever. Um, they taste like condensed milk. It's delicious. And then I have like these travel packs of Olive. When I was on my honeymoon, um, we were at the airport and I had headaches so I grabbed some and they, they're still in my purse. Let's see what else I have in here. I have this pen that Mike got me a long time ago. It is a Swarovski um, pen and I just keep it with me because it's he got it for me so I like being having it near me. And then this, I think I got it at Target. It was in like the dollar section area and it's just a purse hanger. So I like to do that because I don't like to put my purse on the ground or sometimes I put it behind me um, and I just, I like it when I have the option I use it so I keep this in my bag.
And then the last thing that I have in here is my makeup bag, which um, I think I had the same makeup bag in my last What's in My Bag video from, I don't know, three years ago, three or four years ago. So it's from MAC, and I just keep a lot of just random stuff in here. Um, I don't use a majority of this on a daily basis. The, the most that I use is like the powder and the blotting sheets every day. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you all. I have the MAC Blot Powder in Medium Dark and some oil absorbing sheets. I use those two together all the time, like during the day to keep me from looking really shiny and nasty. I have a couple of lip glosses. This one here is NYX, it's just plain clear. And this is Max Cream Sheen in Richer Luster. It's like kind of a peachy color, it's pretty. And then I have a travel size of Viva La Juicy. It's my most favorite perfume. Um, and of course, I probably love it more because it, of course it's juicy. So uh, keep a part of my juicy with me all the time. I have wax for my braces. You never know when you're gonna have something, you know, poking you in the cheek or something like that or in the gums. So always keep your wax with you when you, if you have braces or when you have braces. I have a black eyeliner. It's Graph Black Technical Liner from MAC, and I usually use this not very often, but when I do, it'll be just a touch up like my waterline, um, or if I'm wearing any on my lower waterline, I'll touch it up there as well. I have more clippies. <laughs> I always wonder where the clips are at when I'm at my house, and then I find them at my desk and at work, or I find them in my purse, or in here, it's just, ugh, crazy. I have another cleaning cloth, like a phone cleaning cloth. Oh, I can probably take these out uh, for now anyways. These are these elastics for my braces. I wore them in the very beginning last year to help move one of my teeth. If y'all have watched my videos for a while, one of my top teeth like are here. Um, these help move it, kind of. Anyways, I still have them in here even though I don't use it, so... I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time like looking at the lens and looking at myself. So if my eyes are darting back and forth, that's why. So, okay. Oh, I have even more clips. I have um, this nude lip color that is one of my favorites, although it's old. I haven't used it in a while, but it still looks like it's doing pretty well. It's Rimmel, Rimmel's Spotlight Beige. And I think I tried to look for it at Ulta the other day. Didn't find it, but I don't know if it's still out there or not, but it's just like a really beautiful nude color. And then I have a ton of band-aids. I have the kind of band-aids that you use for like blisters, and then I have regular band-aids. And then even more bobby pins and safety pins and that sort of thing. And then that is empty. Okay. Oh, another clip in my bag. But otherwise, the bag is empty now. So that's that. So uh, just as a quick review over this bag, um, like I said, this is from Henry Bendel. It's the Carlisle Satchel. And they have this in a tote as well. But I wanted, I have been looking for a medium-sized satchel that had a zipper on top. So it does zip up. So as you can see, it zips because I have a tendency, you know, if you're driving and then your purse will fall over and then stuff just gets everywhere. Um, I really wanted a bag that zipped. And then, you know, you can obviously wear it just on your arm like this. Or you can wear it on your shoulder with the strap or with just this long strap or this. I can still put it on my shoulder like that. I, you, I really like to wear it crossbody like this. And it hits me at my hip when I'm walking. So it's um, just one of my most favorite bags ever. And like I said, you know, right here, the, it has a little buckle. So you can expand it so you can make it um, more narrow. Or you can wide, make it wide as you need it. Which I really, really love too. Um, for the most part, I have only good things to say about this purse. The only thing that... Um, or should I say, the leather is really wonderful. It's a caviar leather. And, you know, I've had it for um, close to a year now. And, you know, it's not scuffed up. There's no threads coming out of 
the bag itself. I think there's a little bit of a thread coming out right here on this um, on this little thing tag that that's um, hanging. But I mean that's fine. I still need to cut it, but it's no big deal. Otherwise, the the bag itself, there's like no threads coming out. It retains its shape pretty well. Um, it has these little feet on the bottom to keep, you know, help protect your bag. And overall, I just, you know, I really love the bag. I think it was a really great investment. I don't remember how much it was. I think it might have been like 300, 400. I don't remember exactly, but it was definitely more affordable than, you know, other bags out there. So, um, and I really love that the inside has this beautiful, like, like royal, it's like, like a violet satin inside, so that's really pretty. Oh, the thing on the bottom is just old napkin. Um, anyways, the only thing, bad thing I can say about this is if you can see there is like, um, the ribbon. I mean, how cute is that? The, the, it's like the striped grass grain ribbon. It has this little bow on the zippered pocket. So there's, it has a zippered pocket. It has this big, you know, kind of like pocket where, you know, you can just stick stuff right here. On the front, you have another bigger pocket that actually, it fits my phone in it. And my phone's quite big, so that's really nice. And then this one's small, where it, that's where I keep like the lip balm or my keys or something like that. So the only thing I have to say that's negative about this bag is that the gross grain ribbon, it started fraying or like the thread started coming out after a while. Um, you can kind of see it fraying, but that's the only negative thing I can say about the bag. Otherwise, it's held up really well. Um, yeah, and I, I just like, I really love it. So I would definitely recommend this bag to anyone. Um, it kind of like, it's sort of reminiscent of an Hermes bag that I can actually afford. Um, it's not the same, what I'm saying, but it's like kind of similar in some respects. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share my bag, do an updated video for y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it and um, let me know if you'll have any requests or questions or anything like that. I'm definitely back on YouTube and doing my blog now that my wedding's over and you know life is just calming down overall so um, any suggestions or requests or anything like that would be greatly appreciated um, just to help me get some ideas of what videos y'all would like to see from me um, and of course y'all can get in touch with me on Instagram or on Twitter or on my blog so anywho I will talk to y'all later